Hello, this is Jam Master Daniel 96 and in today's video is going to be more of a fun video. This, it's going to be a bit rambly, you know, I'll be rambling here and there. And this is, you know, going to be like a video I thought for quite some time. It's my pitch for a Star Wars animated show. So let's begin. Well, my pitch for a Star Wars animated show is more going to be in between the events of Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Like, it will cover the 30-year gap. Like, you know, not the entirety, but, you know, a lot of key things. Like, the, is where the Mandalorian is, you know, set in the time frame as well, between episode 6 and 7. Um, but the Mandalorian, I feel like, is going to focus on a much different aspect of the galaxy. You know, it's going to focus on more, like, the criminal underbelly. And, you know, the more criminal side of the Star Wars universe, like where the Mandalorian is, you know, more of like, it's not, you know, your typical Rebels versus Empire, your Jedi versus Sith and all that. Like, you know, this one from my proposed animated series, you know, focuses on the bigger aspect of the Star Wars universe. Like this one focuses a lot of the, you know, a lot of the stuff that will, you know, foreshadow what will happen in the sequel trilogy. You know, what we see with how the First Order came to power, you know, like about the New Republic and all that. Like, you will see a lot of more, like, backstories that I feel like were left untold in the sequel trilogy, which would help, you know, like, you would go, oh, that makes sense now, you know? Like, you would see, like, origin stories of Starkiller Base, um, how Palpatine is alive during the events of the sequel trilogy, as we see him in The Rise of Skywalker, um, how he made Snoke. Um, you know, you would have the political aspects with the New Republic. You can even, you know, have, like, um, Luke adventures in between episodes six and seven like his adventures with Lars Santeca his you know adventures with Lando and you know the bit with Ochi you would have Ochi as make an appearance in the show um so you would have that even for the Luke Skywalker parts you no know, would make it even better would even cool you can even get Mark Hamill to do the voice acting which I definitely want to see, you know, Mark Hamill do voice acting for Luke Skywalker, which I think would be a pretty cool idea to do. And if you are, if they are going to use Luke in an animated project, definitely get Mark Hamill to do the voice, you know, because Mark Hamill is also a voice actor as well. And I mean, you can have that. I mean what was Luke's new Jedi Order like? I mean, you can even, like, bring in some characters from Luke's new Jedi Order from Legends. Like, you know, you can bring a lot of characters there. Like, who knows? Like, you could recanonize Mara Jade, you know, because that's a fan-favorite character. And, like, you know, you can have, you know, her and Luke get married, and, and maybe Mara Jade gets killed in the massacre. And... Maybe that could be another way to justify, you know, Luke's actions in The Last Jedi, as it were, I'd say, you know, in The Rise of Skywalker, how it said how he was wrong about how he was in The Last Jedi. And then he says um, that it was fear that kept him on Octo, which, I mean, you can more further expand upon that, you know, where he, how he was, where I felt where fans didn't, um, you know, weren't really on that way how he was in The Last Jedi. So maybe, you know, you can have more where it will be like, oh, that makes sense now. Like, you know, stuff like that. Like, you can more justify Luke's actions on how he was in The Last Jedi. So you could do, you know, stuff like that. And, like, on how and then why he goes to Octo. I mean, you can even have, like, stuff like, you know, like, the Sith Wayfinders, you can even expand upon those in this um, series. I mean, you know, more 
depth to those and then maybe you know we can even learn about how the map to the first Jedi temple which was in the force awakens so we can even have that as well I mean we can even learn more about the church of the force with Laura Santeca so we can learn a lot of those I mean you can even have connections to the Battlefront 2 campaign like Xaver I mean Iden Versio could make an appearance in the series um and you can even have connections to the Mandalorian like you know maybe the like my proposed animated series in the Mandalorian can even have a crossover like character like stuff in my proposed animated series can appear in the mandalorian and then stuff from the mandalorian can appear in my proposed animated series so they could be like you know a live action animation crossover kind of thing to make it all connected and then like also you know like we could even see you know finn's being abducted into the you know how he's get adopted into the first order so we can you know see how you know the family he got taken from and then maybe we can also see the origin story of Jana of how she gets you know taken as a stormtrooper so we you know we can see stuff like that and then we can even see like you know a younger Poe Dameron which is probably gonna you know gonna be in his upcoming book you know we're gonna see a you know Poe Dameron's past so you know we'll see stuff like that of his backstory and I mean that and then you can even see like Ray's parents and you know and you know and how because they even confirmed that Ray's father was a failed clone of Palpatine so we can even have stuff of that you know how Ray's father comes to be, and you know, that would even ex you know give a lot more. We can even you know explore more of that about you know, like Ray's parents, like who were what were their names, and all that. Like, is you know, they have the last name Palpatine, so I mean, you can even like make this all flow together. Like, you know, I feel like what people all the issues people had with the sequel trilogy. These can be resolved here, and then, then when then you would see the sequel trilogy in new lens, like you could, So it would all, you know, make a lot more sense to people where they get all these misconceptions, and then even like we could see more of Luke training Leia as we saw in the flashback in the Rise of Skywalker. So you know, we could see more of that as well, and. I mean, this is like a lot. Like you know, we can even see the night, like the Knights of Ren. I mean, we you know they did. We did get a glimpse of who they were in the Rise of Kylo Ren comic, and then maybe we can expand upon them more. Like we can even talk. Maybe they can even explore like the unknown regions in this series as well. I mean. This could be, you know, a lot. I'd say this could be more like the Clone Wars is storytelling aspect in a way. As where the Clone Wars, you know, would be the bigger conflict with the Republic versus the Separatist. I mean, with this proposed series that I got, you can, you know, do that with the bigger conflict. But you can deviate to, like, the other stuff. As where, you know, like, this could make the, you know, new canon post-Return of the Jedi era, like you know, make it more expansive, you know, like you can expand more things, which, I mean, you can even make this like a seven or eight long season show. I just think it with that, like, I mean, you can almost kind of make it like as long as it was, you know, as Clone Wars was like a seventh season or even go more with like an eighth season or a ninth season or even make, make it 10 seasons with this show. I mean, if I was to call it, if I was like to, you know, to talk about all the stuff I talked about, why not call it like Star Wars New Republic? Like have the New Republic as the big focus and all the other things I mentioned as to make it like where the galaxy is much bigger. And you know, like that in tying up all the sequel, the stuff that was unexplained in the sequel trilogy. 
or even if it was like, let's say, a show about Luke's New Jedi Order, why not call it like the adventures of Luke Skywalker? So when we talk about his adventures there, like if it's about Luke's adventures in the in the years between Return of the Jedi and the sequel trilogy. I mean, if they want to make it a more Luke Skywalker focused show, I mean, I'd say the possibilities are endless, you know, of doing stuff in this era for the 30 years. I mean, like, I mean, there's just a lot they can do. I mean, as I said, we have, you know, several books and then Mandalorian covers this era and stuff. So, I mean, really, it's a good canvas they could really do with this series. Like, I mean, I'd say there's quite a lot. Oh, another thing I forgot. I mean, you know, there's all the talk about, you know, there's been all this buzz about a Rebel sequel series and about, like, Sabine and, a, and Ahsoka finding Ezra. Maybe they can even explain that. And then and another thing, like, bring in Thrawn. You know, they could bring Thrawn back from this in this series like you know what was he up to after the events of rebels like they could even do that kind of stuff in this series and that's pretty much all i gotta say for this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and comment what you think down below would you like to see a series that's in between return of the giant and the force awakens and do you like the ideas i provided for the series and if there's anything you want to add please let me know in the comments and share this video to spread the word about the channel and i'll catch you guys next time with another video bye